I'm a big fan of, of keeping fees and expenses down. And, um, and one of the things I do, and almost all of these stocks have this, uh, this feature, is they have what is called a direct purchase plan, where you can buy the stock directly from the company without having to go through a broker. And it allows you to start with very small amounts of money, $100, $250. And it's a, a great way, if you've never invested before, this is the way to do it. Find a, a, a company that you are really very, um, very much a fan of what they do or the products that they make. Uh, if they're a publicly traded company, find out if they have a direct purchase program and, and get started that way. My, my wife and I, when we first started investing, uh, we invested in, in, in I'll give one stock away that we own. It's no big deal. Uh, our first investment was the local utility company. And this was back when it was known as San Diego Gas and Electric Company. Okay? And we were thinking, you know, we write these, check, these folks a check every month. It'd be nice if they sent us a check every once in a while. So we got into the program. They pay a quarterly dividend. And so we scraped together. This was quite a while ago. We scraped together 250 bucks so we could invest in their direct purchase program. Did that, set it up so that every month automatically they debit our bank account, our, our credit union account, a certain amount of money. And so we've got to the point now where every stock we own is on that same path of constant uh, investing uh, and taking all the emotion out of deciding whether it's, the stock is too high or too low or whatever, because it's done automatically. We never even think about it, okay? It's, it, it removes all emotion uh, from the, uh, the process, and that's, that's really what, what you need to do. Um, there are about 400 companies out there that have a direct purchase program, and it's worth, uh, it's wor it's worth exploring to see if they have it out there, because, you, again, you can set it up with small amounts of money, get it going and to keep, keep fueling it and let it, let it move automatically. Uh, you want to make investing as easy as you possibly can. Another one of my investment heroes is Peter Lynch. Uh, Peter Lynch uh, managed the Fidelity Magellan Fund for 15 years, and every year that he managed that fund, he outperformed the S&P 500. Today, that, that rarely happens even one year in a 15-year period. But he was a very simple guy and, and, and a great guy, uh, and his concepts of investing were, were incredibly simple. Uh, he said, for instance, one of his rules of investing is never invest in a company that you can't describe by writing on one side of an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper with a crayon. Okay? You're not going to get many words on that piece of paper, so you better be able to explain what a company does in a few words, because otherwise uh, it's probably something you ought not get involved in. Lynch uh, wrote a couple of great books. Uh, he's still around. He's not passed away or anything. Uh, but he wrote a couple of great books, one up on Wall Street, Beat the Street, two of the best books I've ever read on, on just on the, the, the stock market and how it works. So pursue that. Uh, these direct purchase programs are really, really great, again, because they let you get started with a small amount of money. And people often ask, why would a company have a direct purchase program? Do they, do they get the money when, when you send in your $250 or $100? No, they don't. Uh, that doesn't, they don't do that. That money goes into, into a, 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 an account where it is automatically invested. They, the money, they don't touch the money. The company never really touches the money. Uh, it goes immediately into the stock market, just like if you were investing with a large brokerage firm, uh, and all dividends are reinvested and stuff like that. Uh, so they don't have any, any financial benefit from offering people a direct purchase program. So why do they do it? What's, what's, the, what's the purpose of doing it? Anybody have any idea? So you'll buy the products is pretty much the way to, to look at it, yeah. Uh, it's all about brand loyalty. You know, if you go to the grocery store and you've got to buy some soft drinks, okay, and you own Coke stock, you're sure not going to put Pepsi in your cart, okay? Not going to happen, okay? Or you pick up the kids or grandkids after soccer practice on Saturday and you happen to have invested in McDonald's through a direct purchase program and you pull up to a corner and there's a McDonald's, a Wednesday, a Wendy's, a Jack in the Box, and a Carl's Jr. They may be screaming their heads off to go to, uh, to, to uh, Wendy's, but you're going to McDonald's because you own the damn company. So that's where, you, that's where you're going. It's as simple as that. So it, it does create brand loyalty. It's a, it's a really smart, uh, smart tool on their part. So I, I think it's a, a really good way to go. Dividends are great, uh, you know, it, it's a no-brainer, and owning stocks that you know and understand make the investment process very easy. Um, I, and I, 
I, I want you to realize that investing is an is a, a easy thing to do. A lot of people study it, study it, study it. They look at charts, they look at graphs, they, they, they read, they, they, they watch all this stuff about investing, and, and they, they, they almost go into information overload. They can't, they can't make a decision. I always compare investing to learning how to ride a bike, okay? You put your cheeks in the seat and you start pedaling, okay? And you're gonna fall down, you're gonna, you're gonna fall off that bike, you're gonna skin a knee every once in a while, and investing's the same way. You just gotta do it. And once you do it, you're gonna be on the road and you're gonna get your balance and you're gonna be comfortable and you're gonna understand how it works. And, 